What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Got an exciting video for you all today. This is San Carbaz. Carbaz? Cabares. Got an exciting video for you all today. This is San Cabares, seventh place list from the Harrogate Regional Championships, Grand Bull. Haven't played Grand Bull in a few weeks, but before I get to the video, I am super excited to announce that I have got brand new Tricky Jim t-shirts available on Teespring. Check this out. Got the YouTube channel integrated with Teespring. Had people asking me about these for a while and I'm excited to announce that I finally got these things available here. So all your favorite Tricky Jim artwork available on t-shirts, sweatshirts, all of that. Check it out on my Teespring, teespring.com slash stores slash Tricky Jim. You can go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description below. So thank you to everybody who has asked about those in the past and anybody who's interested in them. Appreciate it, appreciate it, thank you very much. So we are going to get to San Caber's Gramble list right now. Stoked about this, honestly. Haven't played Gramble in a few weeks. It's a deck that I've kind of just written off and it's like uh, a deck that I just hope I don't play against if I go to a cup or something like that. But it is a powerhouse of a deck. It continues to get top placements at big tournaments, regional championships, and the likes. It is just a powerhouse of a deck. Definitely one of the top non-GX decks in standard format right now. It is a complex deck to play. Definitely a tough one. Just had to give the axe to a gameplay I was working on because I forgot that Diantha only works if fairy Pokemon get knocked out. So I messed that up. Had to re re-roll. It's, uh, it's a grinder of a deck. You really are trying to figure out this puzzle like every single turn. How do I continue to apply pressure and to get the pieces working together so that I have an attacking Gramble, no cards in hand, and a backup Gramble ready to go for next turn every single turn. It's not like easy to do, but when you get to the, the whole machine working right, the deck is absolutely amazing. Being able to pump out like 190 damage with a choice band every turn to Pokemon GX, Shrine of Punishment to help kind of nick away at the bigger Pokemon GX that you might encounter. Fairy typing, also just a great type. Hitting dragons for weakness like Ultra, Necrozma, and Rayquaza GX. Even though you rarely need that weakness to take one hit KOs anyway. Just a real powerhouse of a deck. The Orangaroo and Macargo engine is just super consistent, allowing you to stack whatever card you want on top of your deck, then draw into that card with Orangaroo's Instruct. I really like what San has going on here. San has going on here with this list. It's very consistent, uh, very straightforward. It's everything that you want from a Gramble deck, kind of like Gramble at its finest. And apparently I have no opponents. We have no opponents here. There is nothing going on in this PTCGO game. I appear to just be stuck. Never been here before where there's just nothing going on, but I am very confused. Hello, are we here? Or am I in the shadow realm? Alrighty then. Uh, just gonna restart. Well, that was weird. Don't know what happened to my internet or to PTCGO. Apparently we just went black for like five minutes, but back at what? Okay, I think that maybe PTCGO is like a little bugged right now. Maybe it's not working. That's like the third instant win game I've had in a row. I don't know, then we went black for a few minutes. Like, will I actually be able to get a game going, that would be great. We'll see, all right, we're gonna give it one more try, and then if not, then uh, I don't know, we're just, uh, you know, we're just, <laughs> just gonna try again later. This is a great starting hand, honestly. This is exactly what I would want. Uh, so I'm going first, I've got the Snubble, we're good to go, I've got a Rangaroo, I've got Ultra Ball and Mysterious Treasure, what more could I possibly want? We're playing against some sort of Naganadel Beast Box deck, that should be totally fine. So we're gonna ship it, see what we can do against this thing. A bunch of weird, kinda crazy stuff happening. 
with our PTCGO client there uh, today. But hey, all right, we appear to be in the game. Fantastic. So I'll take it. We can attack on the first turn. So there's actually you know, kind of no better time to use Tate and Liza than right now. So we could just do that. I guess I don't really have to, though. I could just like Ultra Ball away the Guzma and the Tate and Liza, grab myself like uh, something else. It's probably fine, actually. Grab myself like a Slugma or something. So we could easily just do that, or a Ditto. We just grab Ditto. And then we put the Ditto down, put the Oranguru down, put the Fairy down, and the Choice Band, and the Shrine. And we just instruct for two. I actually like this better. Playing the Tate and Liza, you know, we kind of just get ourselves a hand where anything could happen. You don't actually have any idea. And this is much better. We get Apricorn Maker, so we can go get two Nest Balls, and then can just thin our deck pretty wonderfully. We got the Mysterious Treasure, McCargo, all that. So we'll just get double Nest Ball, go get ourselves probably a Snubble and maybe an actual uh, Slugma. And then we're like ready to roll here. This is pretty fantastic. So we got everything that we could possibly want and more and more. Beautiful. So this is a perfect starting hand. We got McCargo ready for next turn. We have got a Mysterious Treasure as well to help pair our hand down after the Instruct. Got Ditto, Slugma, all that. And opponent starts to Field Blower. It's all good. We're playing against Stack Attack right here. So this should be, you know, maybe a little bit difficult to take down. It's got that pretty annoying Ultra Wall ability, which gives protection to all of my opponent's Ultra Beasts. But to be honest, I don't think that this Ultra Beast deck should be able to kind of do too much to my uh, my Granbulls. Yeah, no, I'm not too worried about it. Like, yes, my opponent can Sledgehammer. That's like really about it. There's not too much else they got going on for them. So we will gladly just uh, Great Ball here. Yeah, let's see what we get off the Great. Nothing, just nada. That's fine. We could, uh, I guess, stack the uh, short. We'll just do that. We'll smooth over. We'll stack a Grand Bull. We're not gonna waste an Ultra Ball yet. And then I'm just going to instruct for two, and I know one of the cards is Grand Bull, and then one of the other cards is gonna be something. A Fairy Energy. That's actually, hmm, it's annoying, because I don't wanna get rid of my Fairy Energy, but I kinda have to. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, there's no real other way around it. So we'll just uh, get rid of that fairy energy. That's fine. And then next turn, uh, we'll be ready to grow. So we're going 160 damage here with all out, 150, I guess, after that ability there. So they just got a, a decent you know, bite kind of taken out of them over there. And I don't think that they'll be able to do too much to knock me out on turn two. This guy's beast raid, only does 120 damage if they have six Ultra Beasts in play, which I imagine is their goal to get six Ultra Beasts in play. So 120, not quite gonna get there, but if they can find their Beast Energy, then they will be able to Beast Raid. Beast raid. I also have to look out for Stinger GX. If I get too far ahead in prizes, they can Stinger GX and kind of level the playing field and make things a little bit easier on them. Opponent's gunning down my Ditto Prism Star. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I've got kind of the whole setup here ready to go. And they didn't actually do anything to my Grand Bull. So that that's fine. I always love getting a free, you know, attack here. That's just beautiful. We've got everything that we could possibly want. I think here I just smooth over and stack a Fairy Energy. And then we go from there. So... We'll just do that, and that way I have the fairy energy to put onto my Gramble next turn, and then I'm not actually going to instruct because I already got it. So I'm just going to all out, take out the Buzzwall, and I'm happy to see that thing go so that uh, my opponent doesn't get to use their Sledgehammer on my four, four prize turn. That would be my biggest concern there. So the hope is that my opponent whiffs knockout on the Gramble here. Then I am able to draw into the fairy, slap that down onto the bench. No! All right, so we're getting judged instead. That's fine, you know. Always uh, can deal with getting judged by my opponents. This is actually a really 
bad hand. That's kind of sloppy. I don't think that there's all too much that we're going to be able to do to deal with this, considering I don't think that my opponent's actually going to take a knockout on my Grand Bull. So <laughs> we are just probably doing 20 damage this turn. That's probably just what we got going on. All right, so Fairy Energy, don't mind that. We got Nest Ball as well, but there's nothing that we can actually get back. Um, I think we just go get a Snubble. That's fine, because I need to ev like, evolve these guys that I have in my hand in order to make it so that I can actually like do some things. So we'll, uh, let's see, I'm gonna need to pare this hand down. That means I'm gonna probably need like an Ultra Ball or something like that because I don't actually have anything to evolve this Macargo into. So I'm probably gonna need Ultra Ball for next turn. I don't think there's really a lot of ways out without Ultra Ball. So we're taking Ultra Ball and we're gonna all out for like 20. That's just what we got. You got me there, my man. The judge stuck me. Ooh, we're only doing 10. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, those Ultra Walls are just in there right now. That is brutal. It's all good. Gramble will be just fine. Uh, now the big problem is if my opponent starts like max potioning and things like that, if they got like max potions in here, and that's the thing about a beast box deck is you just actually have no idea what your opponent is gonna pull out on you next. So they, they got Max Potions, probably Ace Arolas. Uh, Beast Box players love Ace Arola and Max Potion. They probably play a ton of those. So this could be troublesome for sure. Uh, we're gonna evolve here, and then we are going to, I think, we Rescue Stretcher, the Grand Ball, Ultra Ball, I Ultra Ball? No, only if I instruct once. Hmm. I just have an attack though, right? I got like an energy on this fella. Sure. So I think we Rescue Stretcher, throw some things back into the deck. That's probably fine. We're going to Rescue Stretcher and throw, um, shuffle three Pokemon from my discard pile into the deck. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to do that. So we're going to throw those back in. Then we're going to instruct once and just get ourselves whatever this card is. And, ooh, another Rescue Stretcher, great. And we'll just Ultra Ball away that to go get ourselves another, probably another Slugma or something, I guess, or another Snubble. It's all good. I mean, I need a Fairy Energy next turn, so we probably want like Diantha or something. Snubble would be good. That kind of allows us to continue throwing things down, but I kind of want to get the double McCargo set up. The double McCargo set up is like usually pretty juice when we get that up and going. So kind of going to be a little greedy, I think, and go for this. Um, and then I kind of also want another Oranguru. I really want just like lots, lots more. But I got a Gramble ready to go next turn. So I think like if there was a turn to do it, no, let's just stay, or stay the course, stay the course. Get the Snubble. Okay. So we're gonna get this, and then we're gonna stack something for next turn. And next turn, we are going to use probably, I actually don't have too much in my discard, but I could like Diantha next turn, I guess, get myself Fairy Energy and Grambo back. I could probably use Apricorn Maker as well to just go get, I actually kinda want a Fairy Energy though. Like the Fairy Energy is always the toughest thing to get. So I think I'll just stack the Fairy Energy. That's fine. So we're just gonna give ourselves that next turn right off rip so that we can play it. We know we're going to, we're all out for 100 and not as much as I want to. Uh, 140, yikes, this is bad. But what are they gonna do about the fact that my Gramble is not getting one hit KO'd either? So that's kind of my real, uh, my real question here, right? as what are they gonna do about that? They're gonna knock out my McCargo. See, so I was thinking that we probably wanted to set up another McCargo. That's usually like the course of action for these decks. And they love Mac, they got tons of Max potions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh goodness, this is just a horrible, <laughs> horrible time. Uh, this is fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be smooth sailing. All right, Beast Box ain't got nothing on what the, uh, you know, what the dog is cooking over here. We're gonna be a-okay. So they're gonna knock out my only Macargo, but we got 
Orangaroos Instruct, which is going to allow us to continue to kind of draw some cards. We just can't guarantee what they're going to be, right? So that's, that's kind of a tough one there. We also would love to just find another shrine. If we could just find a shrine, a punishment, or something like that, we could actually start, you know, kind of ticking away at that thing too, which would be super dope. Okay. So, I think we actually kind of have to, you don't have to instruct. I could just not instruct, but I feel like I have to see some cards here or else I'm like just going to lose. So, like, uh, okay. We didn't do it, right? Well, we didn't actually do it. That's kind of bad. Okay. Um, I guess, oh, I could have done it. I could have Apricorn Maker for some Ultra Balls. Yeah. So that's fine. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay. So we can Apricorn Maker. We're actually still in this. Okay. So we're good. We get Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. Oh, Next Ball. Mm, great Ball. We can't, actually. We just can't. Okay. So I think... I can't get rid of that Guzma. There's just no way to do it, right? Because I'm out of Ultra Balls, which is so weird. Don't I play four of them? But I prized three of them. I prized three Ultra Balls. Oh my gosh, we prized three Ultra Balls. What in the world? We prized three Ultra Balls, guys. Okay, so that's fine. We need to set up another one of these, like for sure. Uh, I guess I should have Great Balled first, but it's all Good. Uh, we will get ourselves another Grand Bowl there. And then we're just going to all out for 10. All right. Yep. So it's cool. We got some things going on. Uh, it's not like the worst situation. I just wish I kind of had an Ultra Ball there so I could have um, I could have pared that entire hand down. But we'll just Guzma next turn. I've got energy in play, so I can guarantee I get a Guzma. Uh, I don't know what my top deck's going to be, of course. Uh, not having McCargo is a little bit hectic. Uh, and they got the Ace Rolla. See, tons and tons of healing. They've got tons of it. So I'm looking at my counts here. We've got how many rescues? Only two rescue stretcher, and they're both down. So if I'm going to recover cards, it's going to be from uh, having to use... All right, this is actually beautiful here. So if my opponent... Oh, no, it's not beautiful. Yeah, no, this is really bad. But that's that's fine. We're cool. Okay, we're going to play this, and we're going to Guzma up. Uh, probably, like, I think I just have to swing into one of the... Uh, this is actually just a knockout if I do. But then my opponent can, like, B-string and stuff. But I think I just take it, like, because I got the shrine. So, oh, it's not a knockout because I'm, like, nowhere near knocking out anything. Uh, I think I just bring up, like, this fella, right? and we just hit into him. So we're gonna do that and just figure it out. We're just gonna all out. I don't think, since I prized three Ultra Ball, I think like I can't really afford to like draw too many cards with the Rangaroo right now. So we're just gonna continue drawing our top deck and then go from there and just say, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll just play off our top deck. Now, dude, they just have so much healing. This is, like, not a winnable matchup. This matchup is trash. There's, like, nothing to be done. It's, like, just really, really bad. <laughs> Who would have thought? Beast Box in here just giving me the business. They have Cynthia, though. Maybe they'll rip a switch or something. They only have so many healing cards, right? Like, there's only so many they actually could play. Uh, but they do play tons of stadiums, so they're going to be able to bounce my shrine like every single time that I play one. But that's fine because I can continue just kind of, you know, just bludgeoning away. Oh my gosh, three stack attack us. Oh yeah, stack attack us. <laughs> Get in there, stack attack us. Three of these things. I'm doing minus 30 damage to my opponent's Pokemon now. That's great. That's just great. Uh, I got switch, so I can easily switch. I don't really want to, though, but I kind of have to. I can just instruct for two. Hope it's two playable cards. I think we gotta have. We have to. We have to like take some chances here. Okay, so that's fine. <laughs> I guess right. Uh, we just go here, um, and then I switch into. I guess I, I don't want the choice band on like the one that's about to get KO'd. So we're just going to switch here and we're going to put the choice band down on this fella. 
and let's just all out here again. So that's that's it. Another 130 damage, no shrines, 18 cards left in deck, no McCargo. That's just how we're rolling out here. Dude, Granville sketches me out so much. I, I cannot 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 play this deck but it is uh definitely fun it's it's just a wild deck it's not like anything else you know it's just uh the only deck that kind of that i've ever seen that plays like this where you just have to have you know a zero card hand absolutely crazy my opponent manually powered up a gigaton stomp and it's just going to start taking one hit ko's on my dudes like that so i didn't know if they were just going to have switch that easily but they they got it so it's all good. We've got ourselves a Grand Bull here. It's going to hit. And we need to find our Shrine and also hope that my opponent doesn't have another Ultra Space. But the odds of that are probably zero. So that is uh, just the situation. I think I just have to all out here. Uh, I know I prized like some Ultra Balls. Ugh. It's really bad. That's fine. We got two Orangaroos. We, we'll figure it out. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get him a Cargo like for sure. Okay, so we got Apricorn Mate. <laughs> we just lose, dude. We just lose. Oh my gosh. I like need to set up other things. I just need like oh I need Ultra Ball in the deck. Like the deck would just be fine without Ultra Ball in it. I was thinking that if I hit like a Diantha or something, like I just can't continue to not have McCargo in my uh in my in the situation, right? So like I guess I could I could instruct one more time and we just hope we hit a Diantha, right? Like that's just all I can really do. And if that's a Diantha, then we got McCargo, who is not Diantha, but we finally have McCargo here. So we can Apricorn Maker, but I'm not gonna have, like this is just absolute garbage. I don't actually have anything left. I just needed Diantha. There's no Ultra Balls in deck. It's just pretty horrible. I'm just gonna get like absolutely smoke showed here. So we'll get Diantha next. That's fine. And we're gonna all out for like a healthy, like no damage, but that's that's okay. We'll go ahead and just tickle my opponent for 30. But next turn, I could potentially take a knockout and go to three prizes, but they're just gonna be able to go knockout, knockout game. And that's just gonna be it. They got Gigaton Stomp. There's just not a whole lot that we can do here. We got the, uh, you know, we got Grambo, we got Diantha coming up next. I could get one, my one Ultra Ball back from the discard pile, but I don't, I don't think that you actually, or do I have two? Okay, I priced two Ultra Ball. I have two in my, uh, two in here. All right, I have two in the discard pile. So I prized one. I think I have to like instruct probably. And then we're gonna Diantha for like an Ultra Ball. We got the Shrine, that's very good. So then I can uh, just instruct again, and then we're just going to get ourselves Ultra Ball, uh, Guzma, you say. All right, let's, we're Diantha in here though. So we're gonna go get ourselves like Energy and Ultra Ball. I guess Twist Band would be really good too, but I actually have to like, uh, yeah, I have to Ultra Ball. I've got myself into that line of play here where that's just like what we have to do. So then we can Ultra Ball away these guys and just go get ourselves nothing because there's nothing left in my deck. <laughs> we can we can smooth over and put, I guess, a fairy energy on top of my, or another Diantha, right? Like I think just another Diantha is just what we got. No, we can't because they're gonna take their last prize and win. Oh, guys, this is just such a sad day. That's just it. My opponent's got game. You played well. Oh, they're dying to shrine? All right, I guess there's like, we'll wait and see. They have to do like one more thing here. So I don't know why I stacked the Diantha. I wasn't really thinking, but it's cool. We got Ultra Ball, so we'll be we'll be fine if my opponent doesn't knock me out. By some miracle, if they don't have Guzma in that hand and just Guzma up a Magargo and knock it out, then we're fine. But you have to imagine that they just have like beast energy and they're just gonna go and win the game that way with beast raid and it's gonna be very sad. But that's all, that's all well and good. We did our best, Gramble, we really did. I guess, okay, so there was like the one turn in the middle of the game where I could have potentially gotten a second McCargo out. That just didn't feel quite right. They've got like no energy left in deck. I think like, you know, setting up Grambles was obviously very good, but it worked out for them. 
Oh, they could just blade GX. Oh, goodness, yes. Well played, sir. You've got it. You have a good deck. I'm out of here. <laughs> you got it, my man. Oh, my gosh. That is horrible. All right. So, Sen, I'm sorry, Sen. I'm sorry. All right. The, be the Beast Box matchup, prizing two Ultra Balls. There's a lot going on there that was just not beneficial for the entire uh, the entire Gramble thing there. We're going to try it one more time, though, run it back, see what we can do about it, see if we can redeem ourselves just a little bit uh, with the Gramble deck and hopefully not play against Beast Box. That would be great. Got a Psychic Lightning deck here. Sheer uh, Heart Attack is who we're playing, and they've got some very interesting lightning glasses on, so very nice. Saw some people commenting about my new avatar. I had like the long-haired hippie avatar for the longest time on PTCGO, and uh, we have retired that look. We are done with the long-haired hippie man. We are now just uh, the clean-cut, glasses-wearing Andrew Mahone. Very good. So this looks like it could be some sort of like lightning deck. I've noticed a lot of uh, like lightning decks lately. People have been talking to me about like, you know, Zorora. You know, I've seen a lot of different interest in lightning decks. I don't think that they're quite there yet. Just uh, hang tight. Zapdos is coming out soon. Zapdos and Jolteon GX. Wow. Just wow. Why is everyone... Is it just like concede day today? I don't know, guys. I just, I, I don't know. But, you know, we'll see if we could get uno mas. Just uno mas. And then, and then we will be going our separate ways and uh, have an enjoyable day. I hope that you all will have an enjoyable day. I will do my best to work my hardest here at Full Grip and also have an enjoyable day. But it's just, uh, it's been rough pickings here on PTCGO. I don't know. You guys are seeing it firsthand. I had like, you know, I, had, I entered the Shadow Realm. I was in, speaking of the Shadow Realm, did you guys see that Stranger Things uh, Season 3 got announced July 4th, 2019? Stoked on that. So I felt like I was in the, and I'm there again. Okay, guys, I'm there again. I'm in the nether. <laughs> I'm in, the, I'm in the PTCGO nether. I'm out of here. This is not, like, this is not working today, dude. PTCGO broke. Understandable. We got one game in, all right? You guys saw the one game, okay? But, like, I am not rocking the PTCGO nether today. I just had to, like, you know, no, 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 no. We're out of here. I don't know. This is great. Why? Just why? Anyways, y'all have a nice day. I have to get to work here. It's about work o'clock. So you guys let me know what are your theories on why this keeps happening second time today uh, and also all the random quits. So let me know your theories in the comments below. The link to the Teespring in the comments in the description below as well. Make sure to check out the Etsy store, Patreon, FullGripGames.com, all that great stuff as well. Y'all have a fantastic January 2nd, 2019. Peace.